mal weg, so. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Hey! Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video, welcome to another episode of Making Gains. And this morning, I've got nothing else to say but my body, my body is broken man, I'm fucking sore. My, my lats, the amount of pull-ups I've done in the last few days is just ridiculous. Yesterday we had the Alice Springs CrossFit Games, which was a hell of a lot of fun. Um, I briefly mentioned it in the last video, but what it was, it was six events over two and a half hours at the uh, Alice Springs CrossFit box and there's probably about 15 or 20 people that came down and like yeah every 20 minutes or so we did another event there was a barbecue at the end everyone had lunch everyone got along real well like it was a fucking awesome day it reminded me of school sports day and honestly school sports day was like my favorite day of the year back in the day so I had a lot of fun my competitive nature came out I didn't win any events but I would call my performance over the weekend consistent. So uh, I was really happy. Um, the six events that we actually did, I will tell you. I'll grab my phone, hang on. Actually, no, my phone's flat. Uh, let me try and remember. So the first event was as many pull-ups as you can do in five minutes. The second event was as many burpees as you can do in 10 minutes. Can you imagine that? Maximum burpees in 10 minutes. The third event was a sled push, which was a 25 meter um, sled push with the heaviest amount of weight as possible. Uh, the fourth event was a sledgehammer hit onto a massive tire. So you had to do as many hits with a certain weight of sledgehammer in five minutes. So there was a lot of like max reps in a certain time cap um, this, this day. I said the next time they do this is probably gonna be a lot more lifting, like you know, max deadlifts and bench press and fucking cleans and things like that. But this time it was more so just reps of set, like probably easier things, to be honest, things that everyone could do. Um, so the fourth event was the sledgehammer. The fifth event was a thousand meter row. And the sixth event to finish it off was uh, a thousand meter run in obviously the quickest time possible. So I think there was only three people left um, doing the, the run at the end. I was one of them. So I, I was one of probably only two people that did every single event. But, you know, I was like, fuck it, why not? Um, we had a good enough break. But honestly, those those 10 minutes of burpees took me probably a good half an hour to recover. So when we went into the sled push, I was still recovering. But I actually did quite well on that. And I don't know if that's because I played rugby or what. I've never, ever pushed a sled in my life, but I actually did really well. So um, that was good. But anyways, what <laughs> what that's meant is that my body is, is really sore. And um, today... Today's Sunday, uh, I wasn't going to go into the gym, but Achilles just messaged me before and said, are you coming down to the box? I said, man, you didn't come to the CrossFit Games yesterday. You don't know what it's like. My body's sore. And he said, and actually he reminded me of a pretty good point, and that is that you don't have to lift weights every time you go to the gym. You can just do mobility, you can do conditioning, bit of cardio. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go down to the gym now and do some mobility. Um, my back, like my lats are so fucking sore, like just, oh my god, just long here. But in other news, I am getting a little bit leaner, slowly, um, but yeah, my fucking lats are so sore. So many pull-ups. My chest is sore and my freaking shoulders, man. There's a lot of shoulder work in CrossFit. Um, so this morning we're going to go down there, I'm going to use the foam roller and I'm also going to use a skipping rope and do some conditioning and cardio, uh, just to burn some calories. I'm fasted at the moment. I've got a scoop of Oxy Shred in here, which I'm gonna sip on on the way. And um, obviously the the uh, skipping will be, uh, you know, a bit of cardio. It's gonna get my heart rate up. Um, I'm in a fasted state. I'm definitely gonna really like get down, down on the foam roller right underneath here. It's gonna be sore, but it's something I really need to do. And also, the other place that I really need to do foam rolling is right at the top. I don't know if you can see here. <laughs> right at the top, like in here, and also just the top of my quad. It gets so fucking sore. And the IT bands, of course, glutes, bloody everything, man. Everything. I'm not, I'm not the most flexible at the best of times, but honestly, like, 
I have probably been doing the most stretching and the most mobility work I've ever done since joining CrossFit. So it's it's all good stuff. I'll see you guys down at the gym. Who knows what else is going to happen today? Probably not much. I am feeling I'm feeling pretty wrecked. So <laughs> I'll see you down there. This is Earth Radio. Alright guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here, I'm just chilling on the couch editing this video up and I thought I would speed up uh, the stuff that I did down at the box today which is just some foam rolling basically and in the background I'd just talk to you generally about CrossFit and about how things are going and, and what I want to work on for the future. So as far as you know, mobility and uh, conditioning and things like that, um, stretching, flexibility, I always knew that if I want longevity in this thing, if I want to, if I want to lift weights until I'm 50, I'm going to have to make that a priority. It's going to have to be just as important as lifting the weights is maintaining my body. And so I would say that you know CrossFit has definitely been a catalyst for that. Um, it's 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 hard to to go down there and not want to look after your body properly. It really isn't. I mean, uh, nutrition wise mobility wise everything really um, it's it's a it's a combination of everything good in the fitness industry in one I'm telling you the only thing you're missing is a fucking arms day and a chest day that's seriously all you're missing um, so you know I've <laughs> I've talked to quite a few people in the gym and I've said you know my major thing is oh, I'm doing CrossFit now you know that's what I say that's what I tell them and you know I get a few funny looks I get people who question what I'm doing but then I got I, the only thing I need to say to them is um, okay well you're standing here in little old anytime fitness you want to head across the road and go check out these facilities mate you won't be leaving I'm telling you so I am a huge advocate for it right now I'm honestly addicted if I find something that I really enjoy something like this um, especially with my competitive nature you know I'm gonna go full force I'm gonna go hard and that's exactly what we're doing so today it was you know like I said my back and my, my legs were sore my whole fucking body sore you use so much shoulders legs and back in CrossFit um, so the only workouts I'm really doing in the gym is uh, chest arms and possibly like a heavy leg day if I if I feel up to it but honestly the guys like you know, I've got a friend who used to do a lot of high intensity cardio and conditioning and she used to say, oh my legs are, are sore like every day and I said, fuck off, there's no way your legs can be sore every day and it's not, it's not that my legs are actually sore every day, it's that they've just got this heavy feeling and I think that's a combination of all the, the work I'm doing at CrossFit combined with obviously being in a caloric deficit, um, I am feeling, you know, quite sort of sore like I said this morning and just, yeah, I guess. I'm just beating up my body. So tomorrow I've actually got a, a physio appointment booked. I've had, I had one a couple of weeks ago. I had some issues with my lower back. Some of you may know, some of you might not. Um, I unfortunately have one leg that is two and a half centimeters or 25 mils shorter than the other. So I've had the x-ray done. Um, I've, my hips, are, what, what, you know, one hip is two and a half centimeters higher than the other when my feet are flat on the ground. So what that means is that in everyday life, yeah, it's not going to affect me too much, but you know, if I am doing a lot of exercise and things, eventually it's going to create imbalances in my hips, and that is something that I've sort of dealt with for the last couple of years. Um, it, it affects my lower back, um, as you can imagine, and so recently I've been starting to go to the physio. I went to an appointment two weeks ago and had you know, a little bit of, um, I guess, just a, a initial consultation. He sort of got in there a little bit, pressed pressed in a few places and honestly it, it, it did improve. So he knows where the trigger point is, he knows what's wrong, well I, I guess so. And so this next time that I go there I'm going to try some dry needling, which I've never tried before so that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, once again it's all about just maintaining my body man at this point. Um, especially if I want to try and hit this crossfit hard like I do, like I know I want to. So yeah, uh, what else can I say? CrossFit's going great. You can see Achilles in the background. He's practicing his Olympic lifts, which is something that I want to practice. Although, unfortunately, I have two ripped calluses on my hands right now from the pull-ups that we did at the fucking um, Alice Springs CrossFit Games that I talked about before. So, 
Uh, little did I know, but after the five minutes of as many pull-ups as possible, I'd ripped two calluses off my hands, and I, I didn't even feel it, but it was pretty, like, it was pretty bad. I mean, pretty bloody and fucking... If you saw my Snapchat, you would have seen it, but right now I'm just obviously recovering from that. I've... I don't know when I'll be able to sort of rip some deadlifts or do some Olympic lifting again. It's probably going to be at least a week off. I've never ripped a callus off my hand before, but it's fucking sore. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty deep. So I'll be nursing that. But obviously in the meantime, I will do whatever I can. It's probably, yeah, just basically just no heavy sort of bar work because it just presses on the calluses too much. But, you know, light work, I'll be fine. And obviously training legs, I'll be fine and any Metcon at CrossFit, I'm sure I'll be fine too. But uh, with that said, I'm going to leave you guys now. That was just a bit of a quick talk on what's going on down at the CrossFit box. Me and Achilles are killing it. I've got another couple of workmates that go down with me as well. <coughs> and obviously, <coughs> yeah, meeting new people every session. Um, you, do, you do find out who the regulars are, just like at the gym. It's quite funny. You do see the same people down there over and over, but there are new ones that come along here and there. And with the money that you're paying for CrossFit per week, you'd want to use it, honestly. It's, it's pretty expensive. That's probably the one thing that puts people off. And you know, when I tell people I'm doing CrossFit in the gym, I love talking about it, but then when they ask how much it is, I sort of don't like telling them because it's about $40 a week. And so you can imagine like with some gym memberships, they're like $15 a week. So you're paying for it, but as you guys know, you know, I love this stuff. Um, it's no cost to me. You know, going to the gym and working out every day is, is actually essential to my mental health and it's, it's worth the money I pay. So with that said, I'm gonna leave you guys. And uh, I think at the end of this, I do do a little bit of skipping and I get a PB on double unders, which is making the skipping rope go under your feet twice before you land on the ground again. So have a look at that. I'm shaping up, I definitely am. I'm feeling quite quite good in the uh, in the skipping video, so let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys afterwards. Catch you later. Alright guys, we are back from the gym, it's time for a post-workout, or post, mm, what would you call it, post, post-mobility and conditioning workout, which is going to be, as always, a shake. So these shakes I'm using first thing in the morning as breakfast or post-workout, you know, later in the day if I train, it's going to be egg whites, it's going to be protein powder, almond milk, and one banana. So first ingredient, bring it over here, 250 mils of egg whites. At the moment I'm using these ones which are in a 950 mil container. It's about 9 or 10 dollars per container. Alright, one banana, got coconut milk today. I thought it was almond milk, but it's coconut milk, which is even even lower in calories. 250 mils is 43 calories, so I'm just going to guess, you know me, 250, yep, that sounds about right. Of course, we've got the protein powder. One scoop, just like that. Now, these shakes are pretty staple for me at the moment. One scoop of protein powder, a cup of egg whites, a cup of almond milk or coconut milk, and one scoop of protein. What did I say that? Or one? 
One banana, one scoop of protein powder, one cup of almond milk, one cup of egg whites. It's high protein, low fat, moderate carb, and it tastes delicious. If you want to add quite a bit of volume and just a few more carbs, not too many calories, add some frozen mixed berries. I'm not going to do that today, I'm just going to stick to what I've got. Now, a lot of people, when I tell them, when I tell them that I put egg whites into my uh, shakes, they turn their nose up and, you know, all I've got to say is that you really don't know, you don't know what you're missing out on. If you're trying to diet, obviously if you're making a shake for like real taste and you don't care about the macros, you're going to be adding fucking all sorts of shit in there. But if you're trying to diet and you're trying to go high protein, low fat, relatively low carb, I mean, egg whites are a fucking awesome ingredient to include. If you blend them up long enough, they make it really fluffy. Uh, they don't taste like anything. I mean, people turn their nose up because they think they taste like shit. They don't taste like anything. And it's a really great source of protein. I mean, I'd rather have both egg whites and protein powder as my sources of protein than just a whey protein powder. So, with that said, I'm going to get this down. And um, I think that's it, guys. I'm just going to call it here. You know, I, I probably spoke to the camera a bit too much this morning anyway. You guys might have seen the skipping. Well, you probably did. Um, I got 50 double unders. My best before that was 20. Um, I think I could, I honestly think I could keep going forever if I just got the timing absolutely right. And it, it seems like I did today. Like, just, it felt good. So, 50 double unders under the belt. And um, that's about it. That's all we really achieved today. I foam rolled, you know, along my lats, especially like I mentioned this morning, I foam rolled along the top of my quads um, and also, you know, along, I'll show you guys here, along the, so I foam rolled along the front of the hip, the hip flexor, um, I foam rolled, you know, down my IT band as much as I could handle and also the outer, so this is the teardrop, this is the outer, outer head of the quad. Um, along here and along here where it if you guys have foam rolled before you'll know like as you come along here It'll get really close to the edge and then it'll go boom, onto the other fucking head of the quad and um, You know those are some fucking harsh times man. Those are some harsh times, but with that said I'm gonna leave you guys here I'll show you guys the weather once again because it's an absolute stunner as per usual Have a look So that's it guys, this is actually, you know, coming into the last couple of weeks that I'm even going to be in this place. It's, um, it's, <laughs> I don't know, I'm actually, some, sometimes I think about it, like, the decision was, was made so quickly, I didn't even have time to think about it. And sometimes I think, shit, do I really want to move out of here? Because I am quite at home, but the reality is, is that I bought it as an investment property, it was never going to be my home although it has been for 18 months, so it's definitely going to be hard to leave, but it's, uh, it's all part of the major plan, and it's exciting, and really I'm glad that I didn't have to, you know, fuck around too much with a real estate agent for too long, because it would have just been a, a, you know, a headache. Um, so, yeah, actually, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with the tenant I've got, it's just, I've got to leave everything, all my furniture, my bed, everything, because I did it furnished, so... I've, I've got nowhere to put it, honestly. The only thing I'm trying to find right now is a room to uh, stay in for the last six months of this year. And then the plan is to fuck off out of Alice Springs at the end of the year. So, um, let's see what happens. We've got 60 more days of making gains, or probably like 50. And I'm looking forward to it. And I'm going to be in great shape by the end of it, I know it. And, I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Once again, much love to all you guys. Train hard. Eat well. And I'll do the same thing. Peace.